Well, greetings. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. We're here to tell you about handheld devices like my new Kindle Fire and how you can adapt them to your lifestyle and your particular proclivities. And uh, also, in, the, in a lot of cases, how to hack it to make it really what you need to do the work or the fun that you have to do every day. All right. So let's review from the handheldhack.com website what we talked about on the Handheld Hack blog uh, over the last mm, good little bit. We haven't haven't done a handheld hack netcast in quite a while. I apologize for that. I've been really, really busy. But don't worry. We got some things for you this go round. All right. This, by the way, is handheld hack netcast number three. And I do want to mention we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the handheld hack. All right. Let's look at what we have available for you. VMware will release VMware View clients for Linux, Mac, and Android. And uh, those are coming out. The Android version is already out. Uh, the Linux version with PCOIP is not quite out yet. I'm looking forward to that. Wow, that's going to be good because I use Fedora as my uh, Linux client at work and it would really be great to have PCOIP. Right now I'm using the open VMware client which has uh, RDP as its protocol. It's a little heavier protocol. It does okay on the LAN but when I'm using it from home over VPN it's just a little slow. So I'm looking forward to PCOIP. That's going to make a big difference. Also next item. Kindle Fire software upgrade removed the block on the Android market. Now this is fairly old news now from November Sorry about that, but it's really nice. The Kindle Fire software upgrade. I got the software upgraded pretty much within days after I got my new Kindle Fire, and it really made a difference. It's faster, you know. The uh, carousel seems to work a little faster and smoother. Um, it, but the main thing is, is that it removed this block that they had where if you tried to go to the Android market, it would redirect you <laughs> to the Amazon market and that's a sneaky little thing there that they did and people didn't like it. So they undid that where you can go to either market now. And that's a good thing. Again, competition folks, you gotta have competition in order uh, to keep everybody honest, you know what I'm saying? You know, monopolies tend to make people complacent. That's just my little 10 cents worth, two cents worth, one cent worth, I don't know, something. <laughs> anyway, Next item, Hasbro is upset over the Transformer name. The Transformer from uh, Asus, uh, they call it the Transformer. And Hasbro, of course, makes the little Transformer toys. And so they got upset about that. Get over it. <laughs> I'm not going to confuse a tablet with a toy. Well, okay, maybe that was a bad way of putting it. But you'll know what I mean. Yes. All right. Quad core. Now this is a newer item. Okay, finally getting some fresh news here. Oh well. And that is quad core iPhones and iPads. Could they be on the way? Looks that way because they did um, a um, you know we call it investigative reporting. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. They did some investigative reporting on the new software development kit for the iPad, the iOS software and they looked through the code. You can tell these folks they're in there line by line looking at it and they found a reference that indicates that they are getting ready for quad core processors in the iPhone and the iPad. Dude, that's gonna, that's gonna put a whole lot of power in your hand. Now this Kindle Fire has a dual core processor and uh, it's pretty doggone snappy. So I'm telling you, it's gonna be great to have all this power right in our hands, handheld, right in our hands. And uh, I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. Now, I want to do something right now that I, yeah, I feel funny about doing a little bit, but can't help it. I just feel like it's important to share with you. And that is something that I put on my drbill.tv netcast. I want to share with you guys here on the Handheld Hack. Kind of a video cross post and what it is is a review of this leather case 
that I have for my handheld device, the Kindle Fire. And I really love this case and I want to share it with you, the review, right now. All right, what I want to show you here is a uh, basically kind of a review of an accessory for my new tech toy, the Kindle. Now, the Kindle is an awesome piece of technology. It's one of, as I've been saying, it's one of my favorite geek toys practically ever, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but as with most things, you can get accessories that are uh, little additions that make it even better. And this, this one really does that. This is a case, as you might can tell, for the Kindle. It's made out of leather. Real leather, isn't that nice? Now, it has this neat strap doohickey here. Pull that aside, and then you open it up, and there is the Kindle with a slightly dirty screen. I still haven't got my screen protectors yet. They're on their way. But uh, this is really awesome. It's a neat case. Fits very snugly. It uh, has all the, the various uh, connectors available, the power button available. I'm going to hit the power button and turn it on. Um, this, this case I'm just really impressed with. It's by a company called MarTech, M-A-R-T-E-K, um, and it's just a really nice um, system here. Uh, I believe it's MarTech. Let me make sure of that before I go saying that it is. I'm looking very closely at the um, the name here. I can't read it at all because it's black on black. <laughs> you know how that goes, black on black. I talked about that once before. Anyway, <laughs> so there is my Kindle. And you can tell I've been playing with various things uh, like Citrix and VMware View. Uh, <clears throat> at any rate, and of course more Star Trek books. I've got the next Star Trek book in a series that I'm reading. Uh, this one's called The Soldiers of Fear. So uh, the, the first one was First Strike. But now the other cool thing about this case that I wanted to show you, lest you think, wow, he's just talking about a case. What are you, what's going on? Uh, no, you flip these little things here on the edges and then the case folds and becomes a stand. Check that out and it has various positions that you can put it in. But that makes it really easy to read. For instance, if I go to this book and open it up, there we go, there's chapter 11. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I, can, I can read this book, and it's a stand right here in front of me on the, on the desk. Isn't that neat? Now, um, I will confirm the name of this thing because, like I said, I couldn't read it very easily. But I'll get it in some really bright light where I can read it, and then uh, uh, I will follow up with the actual name. And also, uh, the price is actually pretty good. It's 30 bucks for a, a real leather case. That's kind of nice. And then you just collapse it back down, flip these little corners, flip that over, and then pull your strap back over. And it's nice and solid and protected. And uh, it's just a really neat little deal. Ooh, there, I just turned the light where I can see it better. It's not MarTech, I'm sorry. I apologize to the vendor. It is Marware. Marware, M-A-R-W-A-R-E. And I'm telling you folks, kudos to this company because this is one of the best accessories for, uh, uh, for tech gear that I have seen. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why I like it, while I'm talking about it. Uh, the Kindle is already light and easy to deal with, but if I flip this back like this, I can hold on to the case, the edge of the case, and not accidentally hit the screen like you would if you were holding on to it with your finger. Um, so it's easier to hold the Kindle by the case and then if I want to change the page, I can do that intentionally <laughs> without uh, accidentally doing it in the middle of reading a page, which is kind of annoying. So anyway, really awesome accessory. If you have a Kindle Fire or you're thinking about getting a Kindle Fire, I can highly, highly, absolutely recommend 
the Marware leather case for the Kindle Fire. So, there you go. I'm telling you, isn't that great? That's a great case. I love it. It makes my Kindle even easier and better to use. And like I said, it's not MarTech. <laughs> Sorry, it's Marware. And I want to give you guys at Marware credit for this awesome case, the Rich Corinthian Leather, yes. And uh, the way it works is awesome. So, keep that in mind. This case, if you got a Kindle Fire, I'm telling you, you need it. It's, it'll just make it that much better. So, this is awesome. We'll have more news for you next time. Remember until then, you're only as good as your last hack. <laughs>